So my dear students, please take care. This will give you an extra edge over others in the prelims examination. Have a thorough understanding of the foreign travelers, foreign ambassadors, the visit to ancient India, medieval India, modern India, and their observations on the society, culture, religion, polity, economy, trade and commerce, and status of the women in India. This was the question UPSC asked in 2018, which one of the following foreign travelers elaborately discussed about diamonds and diamond mines of India. India always had that fantasy or fascination for gold, precious gems, diamonds, etc. These traditions started from Indus Valley civilization, 3rd millennium BC. Bohat Jararo, Harappa, when you study the history, the women of Harappa in the civilization, they had that much fantasy, fascination toward gold, precious metals, jewelries, etc. Today also we continue. Sometimes you can see the cold war, hot war between the, the daughter-in-law and mother-in-law over the quantity of the dowry, gold, diamonds, etc. You see. Now here, foreign travelers, what were their observations about the social, economic, cultural or commercial aspects of India in ancient, medieval, modern times? Obviously, the, the traveler, maybe the French jeweler, merchant, traveler, who elaborately discussed about diamonds and diamond mines of India, this is Jean Baptiste Tavernier. Similar way, who were the foreign travelers to Mughal court? Here you please take care. The foreign travelers or foreign ambassadors, their point of views, their opinions on India's society, India's economy, maybe about India's uh, agriculture, about India's uh, trade and commerce, or India's mercantile relations, maritime trade, about the guild system, etc. Or they ask you about this um, cultural life or religious life or the political life. Okay, how these foreign travelers, historians or merchants to India, how they described about India's socio-economic, cultural, political, religious life. This is obviously UPC will definitely ask in the prelims. Already UPC several times asked. For example, Fahin, Huyan Sang, Ij Singh, Megasthenes, okay, Demachus, or about this uh, Barnier or Tavernier, or about this, uh, uh, what is his name? Marco Polo, okay. Different foreign travelers to India and their observation is about uh, different aspects of Indian society, culture, religion, etc. So, have an idea. Ralph is first, yes, English. Traveler to India, a British traveler to India in 16th century, I mean medieval India in 16th century, he visited the court of Akbar. Okay, he came India that was during the reign of Akbar. Then Anthony Montserrat, Montserrat, he was the Portuguese priest, visited India in 16th century during the reign of Akbar. So UPC will definitely ask the question like this particular traveler or merchant or priest or ambassador who visited India during the reign of this particular ruler or he represented this particular nation, okay. Captain Hawkins, this British ambassador, English ambassador visited India in 17th century that is uh, at the court of Jahangir for seeking the trade permissions. William Fist, British traveler, English traveler in 17th century during the time of Jahangir. Nicholas Jowton, British traveler, English traveler in 17th century during time of this Jahangir. John jo Jordan, Portuguese traveller, 17th century, visited the court of Jahangir. Thomas Corrid, British traveller, 17th century, Jahangir. Sir Thomas Roy, British traveller, 17th century, Jahangir. So Jahangir, Jahangir's reign witnessed a visit of many Europeans. Many Europeans, especially the British travellers, British merchants, British ambassadors, they visited the court of Jahangir, mostly for seeking the trade privileges, trade permissions in India. Edward Trary, British traveller, visited the court of Jahangir in the 17th century. UPC will interchange. 17, 16, 15, 14, 18 centuries travellers to India. It will interchange. Okay, so take care. 
which century they visited, at the court of which ruler they visited. Francisco, Dutch traveler visited the court of Jahangir, that is in 17th century. So these are some important travelers who visited the court of the Mughal uh, Empire or Mughal rulers. Petra Jalla, Italian traveler, 17th century at the court of Jahangir. John Lloyd, Dutch traveler, 17th century in the court of Shah Jahan. John Fryer, British traveler, 17th century in the court of Shah Jahan. Peter Mundi, Italian traveler, 17th century and the, at the court of Shah Jahan or during the reign of Shah Jahan. Then uh, Monshi, Italian traveler, 17th century at the court of Aurangzeb. Bernier, French traveler, 17th century at the court of Aurangzeb. Jean Tavernot, French traveler, 17th century at the court of Aurangzeb. Tavernier, French jeweler, merchant, obviously, 17th century at the court of Shah Jahan and Aurangzeb. So you take care. These are some important foreign travelers who visited India during the reign of the Mughal emperors, Mughal rulers. And also, you take care in which century they visited India. And they can ask questions like this also. Ralphist, their observations we further study in our, like, uh, uh, the next part of this Mughal history. Ralphist, the first English traveler visited India during the reign of, yes, Jahangir Akbar Humiun Aurangzeb. This is during the time of uh, Akbar, which we have studied right now. So this is a revision. This is an additional portion which you study from this module. Have a revision. The main travelers, the visit, purpose and during the reign of which Mughal ruler. These concepts are important for you. Take care of it.